everybody, Brandon here from Cat Intentions and in today's quick video I'm going to show you guys how to change up the scale of your line types as well as a setting uh, that can help them show up better in your drawings if you're having issues. Uh, so let's get started. So we've got a random drawing here um, and I've added in two line types to show you two common uh, kind of issues that I get asked a lot about line types. One is why the pattern isn't showing up. So you can see this one here is supposed to have a CATV for cable TV and it's supposed to repeat throughout the line and you can see it only shows up twice here. Um, so there's a few settings you can change. One, you can make the scale smaller um, and two, you can turn on line type generation. And I'm gonna show you how to do the first, the second one first uh, because it, it's the reason why it won't show up in these short segments where the line needs a longer space to create itself. It'll force it to create uh, more of the text. So to change that setting, you're gonna type P edit for polyline edit and hit enter, select your polyline. And you can hit L for L type generation and then just turn it on by typing ON. You can see now that it's forced, you can just hit uh, enter a space to get out of that. You can see now that it's forced the CATV to show up along the line type. It doesn't matter if there are short segments or long segments, it forces the generation throughout it. Now the other option would be to change the scale and I'm going to show you how that would work on this one. So you can see this one here, this red line, if you look at the properties it's supposed to be dashed, but it's not showing up as dashed. And if you zoom way in, you can see that it's a very small dashed line scale. So to fix that, what we can do is select the line and in options here under properties, so you right click and choose properties. You'll have this menu here and under line type scale, you can change this up. So if we want to make it a larger scale, so bigger spacing, we can try something like a 10. And now you can see that the dashed line shows up very clearly. And you can play with that a little bit down to five or seven. So this, the spacing of your lines are going to depend on how far in or out you're zoomed into your drawing, the scale you're using, um, the line type scale settings, as well as just the line type and who made it. Some people will make larger scaled ones if they work in, uh, in larger units. Um, but these are the ways you can quickly kind of get them to look right for you uh, without having to redo any line type. So, line type scale and line type generation uh, will usually fix your problem. But if you're running into more issues, just leave a comment below uh, and I'll hopefully be able to answer it in a video soon or I'll write you back. As well, don't forget to check out our video sponsor and uh, CAD machine sponsor, XI Computers. Uh, I'll put the link up on the top here. Uh, check them out. Their PCs are awesome and that's what I've been using for the last year. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers!